Hello again everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. I get a lot of questions when it comes to this thing called easy strength and warm-ups. Uh, warm-ups, you know, they've never been that important to me. Uh, when I was in college, I was down at the Max, Mount Sac Relays throwing the discus and uh, we had a track meet the night before and uh, because Coach Lahati liked to do Friday track meets followed by a Saturday track meet and then <clears throat> we all wondered why we were always hurt. But got up in the morning, junior college uh, throwers, uh, probably 9 or 10 o'clock. And I start warming up, and I, and I always try to warm up easy. And uh, when I go out to get my discus, as I walk out in the field, I notice that the person who has my discus is an optical illusion. Because as I get closer and closer, this person just keeps getting larger and larger. Well, it was Wilt Chamberlain, the great uh, basketball player. And... Uh, I literally handed me the discus like down like this and his hands were just immense and when I got the discus my dad who was there yelled uh, good job bum he called me bum and uh, so Wilt invited my father to stand next to him now my father was about this tall and Wilt is about that tall and so the two of them stood out during the entire I don't know two hours of the, of the JC discus well I didn't warm up very well because I never did but I, I placed really high when I went out to talk to him, Wilt says to me, warm-ups is warm-ups. And I thought to myself, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, let that thing sift in your brain for a while. Well, it did, folks. And that same season, we, when I went to the NorCal Finals, uh, we, and I barely made the NorCal Finals, the trials were probably the worst meet I'd had in two, maybe three years, but I made it. They took 10, and I was 10. Uh, <laughs> that was tough. Well, we're at the NorCal Finals, and we're sitting in the van, and I hear, last call, men's discus. Fortunately, I brought my, my clothes with me because I was dressed, you know. And I got down there, and the head official says, oh, you're finally here. We're waiting for you. So I, <laughs> a very nice family stood in front while I threw on my Skyline College top, my Skyline College bottom, didn't have time to change my socks from black to white, and I put on my throwing shoes, I had to borrow a discus because I didn't get a chance to weigh mine in. Stepped in the ring and my first throw, my first warm up was my first throw and it went well. My second throw was my lifetime best. So what was my warm up for that second throw? One throw and a lot of anxiety. So when we get to something like, you know, how do you warm up for easy strength? I always kind of chuckle because generally I tell experienced lifters, take about half to 60% of your best for the first workout or two, and uh, do two sets of five with it. I don't care what the exercise is. And now a hand goes up, well, do you warm up for that? Well, if you're deadlifting 600 pounds and you're, say, take, taking 225 or 315, how much of a warm up do you really need? In the incline bench, I, I started with two sets of five at 165, and I was like, that, that was the warm up. You do the two sets of five, and you come back the next day, and you do it again. And you keep doing those two sets of five until 165 feels so ridiculously light that you jump up. In my case, I went 165, 185, 205, 255, and then on workout 22, by myself, no spotter, ice on the ground, I broke my lifetime best for it and, and broke it by 15 pounds, and I got two with it. That, to me, is the miracle of easy strength. Now, the problem is this. I can't explain it to some of you. You know why? Because some of you who read my work or <laughs> you don't act, that's not true. Very few people read anything. Uh, what you read on a forum or on an Instagram post about what someone is saying, what they think I talked about, it's the telephone game of weightlifting, you know. Uh, years ago, I was, at a, a, I was at a track meet, and one of the boys from my school cast, you're Dan John. I go, yeah. He goes, we do a Dan John workout. I go, oh, yeah, what is that? He goes, we do bench press, incline bench press, and half squat. And I thought to myself, I, I've never, ever, not one time ever said that as a workout. But when you play the telephone game, uh, when I say snatch and clean and jerk, and then you whisper snatch and clean and jerk to the next person, but you say snatch and clean, and then the next person says, uh, well, I won't go there because the jokes will get too, too a little bit raunchy, but it ends up being at the, when the 30th person here, it's bench press, incline, and half squat. So 
if you read the work, one of the things you'll notice with easy strength is I expect you to lift five days a week. Though really, you could do it seven days a week or you could do it three days a week. It doesn't matter. And that's sometimes the problem is, and I'm, I'm starting to get a sense of what the bullseye of the problem is, is that a lot of people want to be spoon-fed everything here, but never do it. As my mentor, Yoda, once told me, he said, Danny, he said to me, do or don't do. He went on and said something else I wasn't listening. Do or don't do. When it comes to programs, one of the best things you can do is jump right in. How do I know Jim Wendler's uh, uh, 531 program so well? I jumped in and did it. How do I know CrossFit so well? I jumped in and did it. How do I know Atlas training so well? I jumped in and did it. Olympic lifts. Uh, Highland Games. Literally my first Highland Game experience. I saw an ad and I saw the hammer throw and I thought, oh yeah, hammer throw. I'm a hammer thrower. Showed up to this Highland Games with my hammer throwing shoes and my Olympic hammer. And the guy said, well, that's not the hammer we throw. And I go, what do you throw? And he shows me a stick with the weight on the end. I thought, oh boy. And 20 seconds later, I'm throwing a 27-pound rock next to my head. And I won Athlete of the Day and I dominated every event. Because you know what I did? I showed up and I did. I wanted to talk about rest periods, but I'm starting to realize I'm talking about something more important here. That sometimes you got to do things. Sometimes you got to get in there and try. Sometimes... Before you ask me, like we have a program called Three Sets of Eight with a Minute Rest, you got to do the Three Sets of Eight with a Minute Rest before you appreciate why I put so much emphasis on the third set. Do or don't do. I suggest you do. I'm Dan John, and yeah, I just did that. Thanks so much.